Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another good looking puzzle here. Um, as you can see, we've got some quad clues, which we did not too long ago, probably four or five, six puzzles ago, something along those lines, I think it was, but I don't see a ton of them. So um, seems like something a uh, fun one to get back into. It's also by a setter that I don't believe I've seen before, or if I have, I've forgotten and I would have to apologize. But uh, anyway, Let's jump into this thing and see what it is. And so it's called Hot and Twisty by Masta. And what are our rules? So we got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every three by three box contains the digits one through nine once each. Now we've also got digits on thermometers are strictly increasing from bulb to tip. So if you look at any of these thermos, this is the bulb, so this is the lowest digit, and then it must increase up to the tip, which is going to be the highest digit on the thermo. And then we have digits in a quadruple circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching the circle. So let's say on this one right here, the eight, one, two, seven, there must be an eight, one, two, and seven in these four uh, cells. That's it. So hopefully, um, well, hopefully my audio is better today. That's the first thing. I did mess with it for quite a while to try to get it fixed. My mic is still kind of cutting in and out of me. So I'm hopefully avoid that. This recording it would be very nice, but, um, that hopefully the audio portion of this is kind of back to normal-ish. It's probably not exactly what I had it to, but I mean, I can't. Very difficult to get things to be ex absolutely specific when it comes to the audio because I'm having to kind of tweak things. But anyway, um, let's jump into this one and see if we can get it figured out. Like normal, the link is in the description below. So um, let's give it a try. And uh, where do we want to start? I think the first place would, would be probably this thermo. I, I didn't count what these are, but I think it's quite a large one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight cell thermo. So we know we're going to have uh, something along these lines, or this is the bare minimums or, that these can be. So we can actually get that in there. And I was wondering if maybe there's something here. Yeah. Oh, no, not necessarily. I was wondering if there's going to be any combination of digits that see each other that might rule out any of these that we could therefore uh, provide a uh, reduction of what these are and therefore just figure them all out but it doesn't look like that's the case but the other thing we can do is look at the these quadruples that are in there that are both confined in a singular region we can make some determinations here because both of these quadruples have to have the digits seven and eight in them. Now, the only way to do that is obviously to put them right here. So those must be from seven and eight. And then for the remaining, remaining, the remainder of the digits uh, must be whatever's left over in our white circle. So this side it would be four and five. This side it would be one and three. Now, hopefully these guys are going to be looking up into these regions and give us some sort of understanding. Or we're going to use the same thing. Uh, let's say in this one we have again we have two of them two quadruples that have threes and fours in them. So these must be three and four as well. Then we can say this has to be one, seven. This has to be four, six. So now what do we have? Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Ones and twos. These have to be ones and twos. These have to be that breaks this. No, I screwed this up. Sorry, I just can't figure out what I'm doing correctly. These have to be twos and sixes. This has to be four and five. And this has to be three and six. Now let's see if there's any uh, correlation to what we can have elsewhere. We do have a three, four pair here, which is sort of interesting, but we're not quite to the point, I think, where it's going to be useful. The other thing we could start looking at, I guess, is, yeah, so on these corners here, where there's an interaction between, let's say, this one and this one. Well, this is not the best example. This is a good example. These have to be from uh, three, four, six, and nine. So a five can never be here because you can't put the other four digits in three spots. So this is four. Therefore, this is five. Uh, does the same occur on these guys? Yes, it does. This has to be that one. This has to be the three. And these guys do not have that same limitation because there's two options. This could be two or six and still finalize this guy. 
Now, if this is the one that we know these are from 2, 8, and 7, because there's the remainder, and this cannot be a 2, and actually it can't be a 7 either, so this is 8. So we can just kind of find, follow this one, maybe along some, uh, an arc of how these things work together along this S-looking type of clue here. So maybe that's what the hot and twisty is going to get us to do. Let's just continue on the line here. These have to be 3, 6, and 9. This can't be 3 or 6, so it's 9. These are not 9s. This is just going to be a given now, which is what? 5. Let's put that in. And I guess technically we could look at these guys as well. Uh, I'm going to continue in this other, these other spaces first. So this one here can't be a 7, because there's no 7 on this quadruple. So this is 2. That's 7 finishes off this guy, which is good. That 7 here is going to give us our 8 and our 7, so that's good. This 2 now means that this can't be a 2, because if I put another 2 here, this has to be both 6 and a 9, which it can't be. So this is 6, this is 2. Still, we don't quite have a correlation between any of these yet, but I'm sure we'll get there soon. This has to be a 9, because it's the only thing left here. Uh, now let's look, I guess, at this one. Uh, can we look at this one in the same type of setting? Now let's look at this guy. This can't be a 6 because it would break that. So this is 3 and 6. That 6 there finally gets over here, but we'll continue here for a moment before we move on. Now these have to be from 1, 2, and 8. This can't be 1 or 2 because of this. So the 1s and 2s have to be here, and this has to be an 8. Uh, what else do we have? We need to be able to put a 7 in here somewhere. And this 7 is looking at these two, so it has to go here. Therefore, we also know that these have to have a 1 in them. And this is a 1-2 pair looking here, so this is a 1 down here. So this is the four, other 4 or 5 that we need. If I could get my markings to work right and that again is going to look over here but i want to try to finish some of this stuff off first this two actually shows us where the two must be in this quad it has to go up here so we'll put the two and the one in and this has to be two and one and these have to be a one seven pair because it's all that's left in this quad and now i think i feel comfortable enough that we can probably just hop into cutting over now because this now can't be 6, so it has to be 7. So these have to be 8 and 9. And do to do, do. Well, I thought it might. No, this 2 here does force this to be a 1. This has to be 7, 1, 7. Uh, we have a given digit now down here, which is what? It's a 2. These two digits, well, this digit here is given as well for this column. And this is going to be a given digit, so we'll get to those next. This has to be 9, this has to be 6, this has to be 9. There we go. Now, let's see where else we have. Uh, the 9s are a good place to look, particularly over here. So this has to be a 9. None of these can be 9s, so this is a 9. Uh, can we? We can't quite finish our nines. We end up with an X-wing of them up here for now. Is there any other columns or rows we can finish off? Uh, this 3, 4 kind of finishes this. We can find out what these three are, but I'm not sure that's going to give us anything. Not really, so I'm not going to mark it at the moment. And do 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 to be a three in one of these two and it can't be this one so this is three this has to be from four five or six and it can't be six so it's a four five pair which means this is our six we've got a four five now here which is nice so again we could start looking at this this has to okay so that does actually help us a little bit because two can't go here we need a two somewhere so this has to be a two nine pair which means this is then just a three And we can perhaps look further 
And I keep, if you notice, I keep glancing over to my left. That's where my OBS is. I'm just trying to make sure that my microphone isn't cutting out on me. So I would be very upset if it did. So we need to have what down here? Four, five, and eight. And there's nothing there that's really limited. So maybe we just need to kind of pop over, or we need to start looking at this guy here. Let's take a quick look at our Sudoku just to. Yeah, so we do have some Sudoku as well as a Thermo that's going to help us. So we're looking at the ones. This can't be a one, so this is. And that's going to force an X wing of ones. Let's see if uh, twos do us any good. Twos. One of these two is. I'll put it in, but I don't see that being super useful, but that's okay. Let's check on our, th oh, that three right here. That's what I missed. This is four. This is two. Therefore, this is five. That gives us our three and our four. That five gives us a four and our five and our four and our five. Uh, these just have, or the only thing left on here are seven and eight, and they have to go in an order on our thermo. So there we have that. These two just have to be from four and six. We'll put those in for now. These are not. We'll just have to remove that number, that's all. And now we are down to what? Uh, I guess we should have just continued with our looking at our Sudoku because it seems to be helping at the moment. So let's just see if there's anything still sitting here that's telling us what's what, and it is. So this is four, which means this is two. That four, we're gonna know what these digits are, and it might just completely uh, finalize these. We so have to have five, six, and seven. This can't be five or seven, so it is six, which means this is five. This is seven, and this is three, and this is six. There we go, these are all coming together quite nicely. These two digits are looking at uh, three and eight. So this one's three because of the eight. This is gonna be a given, which is a five. This is gonna be a given, which is an eight. Yeah, I think we're now solely into Sudoku territory. So this is working out quite easily. This is a one, two pair, which is gonna give us this digit, which is an eight. These two guys are left, which are four and six. We have sixes and fours looking at them, so six and four. These two end up being five and eight, so we can put the five here and the eight there due to Sudoku. These are one and three. These guys are four and seven, so we do have a seven, so let's put those in, four and seven. That gives us our six and our four. And we're probably going to have one of these two kind of finish off the rest of this batch. So these have to be from six and nine. There we go. This is nine and six and two and nine and one and two and three and one. There we go. Uh, and then we're finalized here with fives and three. So five and we get a deet 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 in the corner. And that one ended up going out quite quickly, which is fine. Um, no problem there. Uh, this puzzle is a little bit older than I thought it was, actually, but that's fine. Uh, still, it was a great puzzle. Really fun. A good entry type of puzzle in terms of uh, dealing with uh, the combinations of quadruples and then how it interacts with our thermo. So that was quite lovely. Um, again, that was a quick one. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that being a nice quick one because it's going to be a good barometer to see if my audio has been working properly. And so anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, We'll get uh, some more of these up uh, very soon, obviously. I, I've missed a day or two because of dealing with issues. But anyway, uh, let me know how you did, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.